Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so it just dawned on me that I have not made a Hawaiian spear gap this year. I lost it last year somewhere during the summer and I had had it for years and it floated away. Rest in peace. So I got to make another one. So right now I'm at Lowe's. I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you how I make one of these for spearing king mackerel, tuna, whatever I got to do that's toothy, offshore, nasty, and I can't put in the kayak without killing it first. So I'm headed in there right now and I'm going to show you. So here we go. All right, I'm out of here for like uh, three bucks. Also, I've got the thing Samantha broke from the pop-up camper. Lowe's don't have any parts like that. Yeah, so I just got back and it is time to cut this. I got it for 87 cents. This was like a $1.19. Uh, not bendy, I think it is the 5 16 inch size. It's like a dollar 19. This is all you need. Bingo, bango. I am going to drill a hole in right here. I'm going to insert this in a good distance enough for it to be stable. This is really all you need right here. I might cut this down, this little lip. Now, the trick to this is, and I've learned this over the years, especially from my other one that was a tad short. Um, you want to be able to reach enough to get the fish, but you also want to have enough here that you can lift the fish. So like if you got a big 25, 30 pound king mackerel on the end of this bad boy, first you don't want this to bend. Oh, oh, we got him folks, we got him. And the next thing you want to be able to stick him, lift him up and into the kayak. And you kind of need a long handle for that. I was not expecting this big bad boy. <laughs> we got big helicopters flying the beach and smoker kings, baby. This one's close. This one's real close. Man. Or you could be the dude that just has the short handle and you just kind of figure out how to get him in the kayak. Just kind of stab him and then just kind of drag him in. Now, you know, sometimes it's easier than others. If there's a shark after him, we just get him in stabbing range. Looking for sharks here, looking for sharks, folks. Looking for sharks. Being able to lift him and get him in is way easier. If you use a big handle, it'll float better. That's why I lost my last one. It didn't float very well. So I had a uh, pool noodle on the back on a, you know, on a piece of string. And yeah, so I lost it. I, it's gone. Once you insert this in here, right in there, by drilling a hole and you screw this in, and then you need to paint it because the salt water will eat it up. And then after that, guys, you just gotta file this down to a cool point and make it scary looking. And the threads will hold the fish, so when you try to pull it out, it'll kinda hold on to them a little bit, but yet you can get this really sharp. All right, so let's get down to business. So I'm at the point of the process to where I just got to put a hole 
and this to screw in the dowel rod. You can play with this all you want or you can put some glue on the end of it and that'll probably do it. Super glue, wood glue, whatever. The point is, this piece of metal has to stick in right here, okay? And now how much do you want on the end of it? Well, you're just gonna have to play with it. You want this long enough to where it'll stick through a big fish, preferably a tuna if you have to. And then if you gotta get freaky with a shark, it's, it's you know, got enough uh, length on that too. It's kind of like an ice pick. So like the point is you want to be able to stab them right behind the head or right in the head with this and kill the fish like with one stroke, one shot, donezo, get him in the boat. Because king mackerel have really big teeth. Same way with some of these other fish, you, you got to be able to and they're done, okay? And then you drag them in the boat. Now I plan on putting it about like, maybe about that far in because that way this has enough length to kill the fish and it's not too long to where this will bend really easy. My other one used to bend all the time. And if you were really lazy, you could just duct tape this on here. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Y'all would probably hate on me if I did that. Most definitely. So now I'm just gonna drill this hole and put my feet on it. Mostly because I don't have a vice with me. It's at, the other, it's at my parents' house. Just make sure you get it straight. So I got an idea, don't hate on me. I think I might have cut this hole a tad too big. All right, <laughs> check that out. Now, I didn't take it as far down as I thought I was gonna take it because my drill bit is just not long enough. Probably got it that far down. I think I'm gonna top it with some super glue call it a day. All right, last thing I'm gonna do, put some of this, uh, this enamel I had on here. It's just some protective enamel. All I wanna do is keep the salt water from eating this thing up. And uh, rock and roll, baby. Maybe paint it later. But this is gonna be on some fish. I'll take the grinder, I'm gonna tip that off. All right guys, so these Hawaiian spear gas can be as complex or as cheap and easy as you want them to be. They can be beautiful with all types of designs and stuff like that, or they can be very functional. Odds are I'm gonna lose this thing again, or it's gonna get stolen or broken. So I am just gonna make a cheap one, 87 cents for the little piece of wood, about a dollar 20-ish for the piece of metal. I'm gonna take this and grind me a point on it, mostly because my grinding wheel is not here, and my vise is not here. I just sprayed some paint, enamel, whatever I had in the uh, garage on it, and then I'll go back and paint it later if I want it prettier. But for fishing this week and next week, this is gonna work. I'm pretty pumped about it. Let's grind it up. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. All right, didn't quite let the paint dry. It's all over my hands, but I'm trying to make this video in a hurry. Paint all over my hands. Now, I got a little, quick little point on the tip of it. It's sharp enough to get something. Now, just from a little experience, now, when you stick your first fish, you're gonna figure out how sticky this is. Now, you might wanna like almost uh, file down some bleeder lines on it or like, you know, not make it so threaded you can grind some of this down when i take it to my parents house i use the grinding wheel i'll finer i'll make the i'll make the tip a little more fine and uh, a little more smooth but right now that's plenty good to get a fish most of these fish don't really have don't have real hard hides king mackerel easy to stick uh it's like sticking the, the dirt um same way with a tuna and some of these other fish unless you hit them right in the head then it gets a little hard now if you're still wondering what you need one of these for it's really good for getting rid of big fish really fast do not put a cobia in your kayak when he's still alive and green he will beat you to death don't put a shark in your kayak when he's alive and green he'll beat you to death don't put a king mackerel in your kayak when he's green because he'll probably eat your leg and beat you to death <laughs> so and, and a tuna and a bonita same thing big bonita big tuna that little tail's just gonna and it'll hit you and you're not gonna be happy so just word to the wise you just make you one of these you can make a fancy one you can make a not so fancy one i'm gonna bend mine 
just like I want it. I'm gonna put some glue in here. I'm gonna probably make some cool little design on it. Rock and roll. Remember with these things, guys, remember with everything in kayak fishing, make it yours, make it yourself. And that way you'll have a lot of appreciation because it's got your flair on it. Your flair, not yak attacks, not something else. It's all you. That way when somebody asks you about it, be like, yeah, I made it. And then over the, the coming days, make it cooler. Add a little design, some tape, a little glue, some extra paint. All right guys, so I wanted to make this video for you. So you can make one of these for about three bucks. No excuse not to have one. You can make them out of PVC pipe. You can make them out of a shovel handle. You can make them out of a broom handle. Whatever you need to put a point on it, you can do it. I've even made them out of old golf clubs. There's a video a long time ago where I made one. I took an old golf club. I cut the, the head of it off, I pounded it into a sharp point, grinded it, and it actually worked pretty good. The problem is the salt will eat the golf club after a while. But that's all I got, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have used one of these and if you like them. I'll see you guys later.